Hello, you're listening to Yellow King Film Boy. Quentin Tarantino's Pulp Fiction has all the ingredients of a masterpiece. A brilliant story, interesting characters, and a cast of talented actors working from a superb script. A script that broke new ground in non-linear storytelling. And an abundance of iconic moments that are now ingrained in the history of cinema. I've lost count of how many times I've seen the film. 20? 30 times? I don't know. So anyway, spoiler alert coming up if you are one of the few people on earth who haven't seen Pulp Fiction. The most controversial scene from the movie at the time was of course the gimp scene. Bruce Willis playing boxer Butch Coolidge who ends up with crime kingpin Marcellus Wallace who both awaken in a nightmarish situation in a basement of a shop both tied up with Red Bull gags with their captors Zed and Maynard watching them with a leather clad gimp chained to the ceiling. There's never been much explanation to who the gimp was and what happened to him as Butch knocks him out and he's left hanging on the chain. In a recent Tarantino interview he revealed the gimp is a hitchhiker who fell victim to Maynard and his brother. Plus Tarantino intended for the poor guy to die by the end of the film. Tarantino said, it doesn't quite play this way in the movie, but in my mind when I wrote it, the gimp's dead. Butch knocked him out and then when he passed out, he hung himself. In terms of backstory, he was like a hitchhiker or somebody that I picked up seven years ago and they trained him so he's the perfect victim. The gimp was played by Stephen Hibbert, who is a friend of comedy actor John Lovitz. Tarantino also told a story about John Lovitz watching Pulp Fiction for the first time and not realizing his friend was the gimp. Tarantino said, I heard a funny thing from John Lovitz, who knew Stephen Hibbert, the guy who played the gimp, from the Groundlings. John watches Pulp Fiction for the first time and is like, what the fuck is this? And he stays in the theater as the credit crawl is going on and he sees Stephen's name. And he said out loud, what? I know the gimp. Stephen Hibbert recalled how he got the part of the gimp talking about his audition. He said, basically, Quentin and I did a silent scene in which he played the gimp's master and ordered me about the small office. I seem to recall I did a lot of peculiar dance moves and weird old gestures then. Things I would later do during the filming. And I think Quentin and the producers, Lawrence Bender and Stacey Scher, who were at the audition as well, thought it worked well. He continues, by the time I got back to my apartment that afternoon, there was a voicemail on my answering machine from Quentin saying, congratulations, you're the gimp. That's a Yellow King film boy quickie. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and all that malarkey. See you later.